Hey, Jordan, how important was it for you guys to get a couple of big plays and touchdowns early for you to get in a rhythm there? I think it was real important. Uh, it's just, you know, getting our offense going, getting us all set up early, trying to get as much hands on the ball as possible and show the diversity of our offense. What happens to you over a week that makes you be able to come out and perform like you did tonight compared to last week? You know, I think that's more just getting comfortable, you know, being prepared for the game. Not that I wasn't prepared for last week's game, but, you know, I just felt more confident going into this week's game. Uh, I got a lot of supporters behind me. A lot of the teammates say, hey, come on, pick, pick it up. You know, you got this. We're confident in you. We're behind you. So uh, having a lot of people with you, backing you up, made this a lot easier. Also, can you speak to hitting Bellinger with a couple big passes and, and being able to now start looking for him more? How much is that going to help you? Oh, Bellinger, he's a great guy. Um, love him at tight end. So, you know, anytime he's in, the, he's in the game, anytime I can get him the ball is something that I, you know, I love to do whenever he's open. You know, that's some guy that I'd like to go to. And then can you speak to what you saw when you saw Ethan get open on the touchdowns? Say that one more time. Can you speak to what you saw on the touchdown to Ethan? Oh, uh, you know, it was man-to-man -man coverage. Uh, we've been working all week for that. And I, you know, I love our guys, especially when it's man to man. I think that we can win every time. So, you know, put the ball up and let our receivers go to work. And uh, Ethan did just that. Thank you. Thanks, Kirk. Let's go to Paul. Jordan, congratulations on uh, the game tonight. Uh, in the, in the uh, Coach Eklinski has said that your position, you need to be the point guard of the offense. Um, I think of your 10 completions, uh, went to six different receivers. How dangerous can this offense be when you're able to spread it out like you did tonight? I think this can be very dangerous. Uh, you know, we have so many playmakers, so many guys, and, you know, we have – First of all, great O-line. I, I, I have so much time back there to, you know, do what I need to do, go through my reads, as well as, you know, how many receivers we have. We have so many guys that we can go to, and then including our backs as well. So there's just so many guys that are dangerous with the ball in their hands, and that's something that we aim for as an offense. And then um, how, how do you build off of what you did tonight and the offense did tonight to, to keep that going into future games? There's always things to work on. Uh, you know, me personally leaving touchdowns out on the field, things like that, you know. Uh, there's improvements you learn from every single week, and there's new game plans for every single week. So going into this week forward and every other week, we're just going to prep and you know run the plays that we think are going to work well against that defense. Um, thank you. Looking around for any more questions for Jordan? Jason? Yeah, just uh, one question for you, uh, Jordan. I want to talk about you were given a lot of opportunities to rush the ball as well in regards to as well as passing the ball. Talk about the opportunities you were given to run the ball, especially considering that touchdown you had early in the first quarter. Uh, the opportunity to run the ball is something you know that we saw the defense would give us, and that's something that we'd like to execute on. So anywhere that I fit in the game plan is you know something that I want to do. Anything that's good for the team, I want to do. So if it's me running the ball or anything like that, then that's something that we'll take advantage of. Yeah, hey, Pat, uh, you obviously have to you have know, some big shoes to fill, um, replacing DJ from last year. Is how, how would you assess your uh, play these first two games? Um, like you said, I had big shoes to fill, falling behind DJ. Um, those two years that I had with DJ, you really helped me, so the transition was pretty easy for me. Um, and then, you know, the, the, the front um, is able to get a lot of pressure mm -hmm. on um, the quarterback. What, what does that do for you as you, you know, follow the flow um, as they're, you know, putting that pressure and, you know, not maybe allowing the quarterback to set all their feet? Uh, that's actually uh, – sorry, can you repeat the question? Yeah, I'm sorry, a little winded. Um, just the front, the front six, and the pressure that they put on the quarterback, and how you're able to, to you know, that they put so much pressure that the ball isn't always on time, and you're able to follow that. Could you just speak to the the, the blitzing and the the rush and how that helps you? Yeah, our D line's amazing out there. Um, like you said, they're giving out pressure every time, and the the ball's gonna be late or it's gonna be a bad throw. So it's very easy for us DBs to just make a play on the ball. Question for me um, from that Aztec position. Um, each each Aztec that has played has had a little bit of a signature to it, something that that they were able to bring uniquely to themselves. Have you been able to see what that is for you? Um, I'm just out there playing, really. So um, if that's a signature, I really don't know what you're talking about. But um, like I said, I'm just playing fast, physical, like um, all Aztecs have. So. Thank you.
Thanks, Paul. We'll go to Kirk. I want to know, what does it do for, for the defense when you guys are able to build a big leap like that? What, what does that help you guys, you know, going after the offense that way? Yeah, so just the offense scoring out there, um, it released pressure off us for sure, knowing that we're up uh, two, three touchdowns. So, but we still got to go out there and play. Um, also, the special teams also did amazing out there too, scoring on a punt return. So, like, like I said, it was just easy for us. Um, yep. Also, want to ask you guys are so veteran up front that I think teams are probably going to try and test the secondary more. Do you just kind of welcome that and want to show what you can do, or how do you look at them maybe trying to target you guys? Um, the front six, like you guys said before, um, they're bringing pressure every time. So if they test us, like I said, it's going to be an off ball, um, and it's easy for us DBs to make a play on it. Then can you say a little bit about what you saw in the interception? Um, so front six again, making pressure, um, getting tipped ball by one of our D linemen, and then one of the tight, tight ends tipped it. I just made a play. Hey, Greg. How big was it for you guys to get out to that fast start, especially to maybe help Jordan Brookshire settle into the game? Um, it was great to get out to the fast start. Um, we came out in the second half kind of slow, but Jordan looked great out there, and we got the W tonight. Can you tell us about that long touchdown run early and what you saw there? Uh, my own line opened a hole for me, and I just hit it and scored a touchdown. And then you guys had such the big first half. Did you uh, feel like that was, you know, kind of an insurmountable lead, or how much were you concerned that they would come back on? Um, we weren't too concerned, but we wanted to keep going out there and fighting, because you never know, it's football, anybody can come back and win, so we just wanted to keep going out there and fighting. Thank you. No problem. Thanks, Kirk. We'll go to Paul. Um, Greg, can you talk a little bit about your O-line tonight? Um, obviously, late back in half, you know, they knew you were taking air out of the ball, um, and yet you were still able to pick up first downs because of their work. Uh, my O-line looked great tonight. Uh, they looked great last week. They opened up a lot of holes tonight, and we got the victory. And, and um, how does the offense build off of uh, what happened tonight, especially in the first half? Um, we're just going to keep going out there, trying to put points on the board and come out with wins. Uh, last question for me. Um, you know, obviously, when, when teams prepare for the Aztecs, uh, where you are um, is, is a big priority for them. How does the ball like the one that they threw to Ethan tonight, how does that open things up for you in the scheme um, potentially going forward? Um, it helps us a lot because it lines up the box. Um, Jordan threw a great pass to Ethan, and we got in the end zone and got some more points on the board. Thank you. Appreciate it. Kirk, we'll go back to you. Greg, did you see much difference in Jordan's performance tonight compared to last week? Where did really improve or what kind of changes did you see in him? Um, he came out there real poised tonight. Um, he played with a chip on his shoulder. I know a lot of guys were bashing him last week in the media and stuff like that, but he came out there and proved everybody wrong. Anything in particular you saw that he did that just, allowed him to be successful? He just played with a chip on his shoulder and came out there hungry.